Hey golf people, welcome to our March driver bracket. We have an unexpected extra match here for you and I think it's going to be a really good one because in the simulator these two drivers were so close that it was very very difficult for me to choose a winner. I did choose a winner but the fans responded and begged me to put another driver in this bracket and that's how we find ourselves with this matchup right here. The Wilson Staff Dynapower up against the Srixon ZX5 Mark II. We're going to see which of these two drivers moves on here in the play-in game to face the Titleist TSR. Both of these drivers are so similar, but one of them has to move on today, and we're going to find out. Now let's talk about the judging criteria. We've got five categories we'll be judging these drivers by. The first one is distance, which one flies the furthest. That's five points. The second category is accuracy and forgiveness. That is five points as well. Third category here is value. That one's worth three points. And then we've got workability, one point, as well as aesthetics, one point. That's how we'll judge these two today. One driver is gonna move on to our quarterfinals. Let's find out which. All right, first driver up is the Wilson Dynapower. Carbon, these balls are unmarked. Boy, that launched high. That was really good. Now this is into the wind. It drew back right side of the fairway. Clubhead speed 101, ball speed 147, smash 1.46, estimated carry 237, estimated carry and roll 263. That is right down Broadway. With a nice slight draw. Clubhead speed 101, ball speed 147, smash 1.46. I feel like I'm having deja vu. Estimated carry, 235. Estimated carry and roll, 262. Switching now to the Srixon Mark V. Same exact shaft, by the way. Exact same shaft. I would say that was just a little low on the club face, guys. Very forgiving result. Club head speed, 102. Ball speed, 138. Smash, 135. That's where I know I didn't quite hit it in the middle. Estimated carry 213, estimated carry and roll 237. And that one's in the middle. That one was hit really well. I feel like it's just unloaded. Club head speed 101, ball speed 148, smash 146, estimated carry 239, estimated carry and roll 265. We have a team of balls here. One, two, three, and then one over here on the right hand side. Remarkable in terms of how close all these balls are. It's like a team. 258, that is going to be, that's gonna be the Wilson Dynapower. Now 257, I mean, it is one foot and a half from being in the fairway. So <laughs> these other three are in the fairway over here. Two are dead middle. One right next to each other. Here we go, we've got the Srixon ZX5 here, that's 256. That was the low-faced hit, which that really worked out well. Just up above here is our other Wilson at 259, dead middle. Could be the best ball, but there is another ball up here. Left center fairway. He got it by a yard there, guys. Actually, two yards, 261. That's the Srix on there. These two drivers were remarkably close in the simulator. And here with the same shaft on them, same everything, they're remarkably close as well. I've got to give this hole here to the Srixon just by a hair. And that's because that forgiving result we had with the low shot there. Two of those Wilsons were right in the middle. One of the Srixons were, one was low on the face. Still, it worked out really well. Let's go to test number two. Now guys, the wind is blowing pretty good and that was dead into me. We've got another hole here where the wind's gonna be dead into us, but we will of course switch it around. But honestly, in terms of trajectory there with the same shaft, both clubs looked exactly the same in the air. In fact, they felt the same. They looked very similar down to dress. These two clubs are almost a mirror image of each other. It's pretty crazy. All right guys, test two. This time the ZX-5 Mark II is up first. Good looking ball. It's leaking a little left. It may finish off the fairway. Club head speed 101, ball speed 143, smash 142. Estimated carry 227, estimated carry and roll 252. Gotta say, I like the way both of these drivers 
are getting up in the air. The trajectory is really great with this shaft into the wind. It's hurting us distance-wise, but it's going to help us when we turn it around. Shot two. That one off the toe. And again, big sweeping draw. It may finish off the fairway. Pretty forgiving result, though, for a toe hit. Clubhead speed 99, ball speed 141, smash 142, estimated carry 220, estimated carry and roll 245. Switch into the Wilson. Oh, that felt really great, guys. That was awesome. I might have carried it right into the bunker, but boy, it felt so good coming off the club. Clubhead speed 99, ball speed 144, smash 145, estimated carry 228, estimated carry and roll 253. It's right where I aimed, honestly. I just kind of expected slightly more draw, but that ended right where I had aimed. I changed my aim just a tad here, a little more central on this shot. And that's another good one. Just a little bit off the toe, not as severe as the Srixon one. The result, again, very forgiving. Clubhead speed 99, ball speed 145, smash 1.46, estimated carry 230, estimated carry and roll 256. Let's get them. Now guys, when I was a kid, baseball was my favorite sport and there was nothing like hitting one dead center and just feeling like the bat was an extension of your arms. And that's what those Wilson Dynapower shots felt like, especially that first one I hit dead center. Honestly, I don't care if it's in the bunker or not because that bunker's just in a tough spot. <laughs> And good news, it's actually not in the bunker. In fact, it's holding on for dear life here. And it's actually a really good lie. I would play that one and feel real good about it. This is my Garmin G80. People always ask, what am I using here? This helps me measure the shots out on course as well as the shot data. 237. We know that's the Wilson. Other Wilsons up here, middle of the fairway. The two Srixons are over here. One's right across from us and one's a little further up. They're actually both in the fairway, those Srixons, kind of surprising as well, I thought. And if you remember my battle with the Mizuno versus the Ping G430, the reason the Ping G430 came out on top really was the toe hits on the Mizuno were just a little too penalizing and I was missing too many fairways, getting it too spinny. All right, here we are, 229 there. That's a Srixon. Here's what we're looking at, <laughs> a little flip wedge, but these are even better. These two are amazing. This is gonna be our other Srixon up here on the left, still caught the fairway, even though both of these were kind of towards the toe. 251, remember, we're dead into the wind, guys. Dead into the wind. Over here, directly across from it, this was my Wilson that was off the toe. It stayed a little bit more central even though I adjusted my stance to be a little more central too. So in terms of accuracy, this was a great shot. 257, 257. Oh, I would love to have that shot in. Guys, in my mind, this is a toss up so far. I'm gonna give the Wilson staff this hole. Strixon had last hole. Let's go to number three. All right, guys, before we move on to the next test here, we're gonna judge one of the categories and that's value. Both of these drivers are 499, and specifically referring to the Dynapower, I've heard other YouTubers claim this is the best value in golf. Well, I would say this is definitely a decent value, but it's not great. All right, last year we had drivers we get in the 350 range brand new, so this year's crop of drivers across the board more expensive. On top of it, both of these drivers really don't have a whole lot of shaft options. These clubs don't have a ton of adjustability to them, so even though they're only at 499, just under 500, and that sounds like a good value, it's, it's a decent value, okay? It's a decent value. It's not great, it's decent. Since there's absolutely no clear winner here, these drivers get three points for value. While I'm on a roll here, guys, and the wind has kind of died down, I'm gonna go ahead and judge another category here, and that's aesthetics. We're talking looks, feel, sound. When it comes to looks, I would just slightly, ever so slightly, give it to the ZX-5 Mark II. It's a really good looking driver. Both of them looking down at a dress, nice and clean. I like that both of these drivers have more of a matte finish to them. Wilson has a bit of a more of a carbon fiber look to it. The Strixon has a little carbon fiber look, but it's mostly kind of matte black. I'm just barely ever so slightly gonna give looks category to the Srixon, though they're very, very similar. In terms of sound, again, I think two very good sounding drivers, very similar sounding drivers. And in terms of feel, like I said on this last hole, the Wilson staff, 
just feels like an extension of you when you really nut it in the middle. All right, so just barely feel would go to the Wilson staff, but the Strixon's a good feeling driver as well. All in all, both of these drivers are gonna go in to get one point, so the score here is tied at four all. Guys, these drivers are so similar that this competition may in fact come down to workability, and that is what we're going to test here. This category is worth one point. We're gonna see if I can hit a fade, which goes against my natural draw, and just see, how much you're able to work the ball left and right with these clubs. I will measure the stats, but that's not what this is about, guys. This is really about left-right movement. First up here is the Wilson staff. Well, started out really left, and it kind of course corrected there. Ended left side of the fairway. We'll take that. So not a crazy sweep to it, but it definitely worked out. Club head speed 94, ball speed 133, smash 1.41. Estimated carry 201, estimated carry and roll 223. Swing speed's gonna be down here with my fade swing for sure. Shot two. Now that had some good bend to it. In fact, it started right and it ended into the junk in the pond. So we won't find that ball. But club head speed 92, ball speed 134, smash 1.45, estimated carry 204, estimated carry and roll 227. Time now for the Shrixon. I would say the amount of turn there was more similar to the Wilson staff's first shot. All right, this one, although I started a little more central, ended a little center, center right. Club head speed 93, ball speed 131, smash 1.41, Estimated carry 197, estimated carry and roll 219. And there you go. That one started right. It looks like it's probably, yep, it's gonna end in the water. Club head speed 93, ball speed 133, smash 1.43, estimated carry 203, estimated carry and roll 225. Guys, I don't see much between these two in any way, shape, or form. That means they're both getting one point. And to be perfectly honest with you, I was hoping that one of these clubs, either of these clubs, would have made this a little bit more definitive, but the results were exactly the same. Now, the real reason I do this is so that you guys have a little bit of an idea of what club is going to be better for you. And here's a difference that I do want to make note of, just in case you're considering either of these clubs. So the Strixon here has a much shallower face than this carbon Wilson staff, okay? The face of this is much deeper. It's not quite as long, whereas this is longer and shallower, okay? Now in practice, what is that going to mean? It's going to mean if you tend to either hit it high or low on the face, you may prefer the Wilson staff. And if you're gonna hit it a little more towards the toe or the heel, and you want a little bit more forgiveness on the face left and right of that face, you may wanna look at the Strixon, but guys, these drivers are so very similar. Okay, guys, we are finally, have a little wind behind us now, I think. First up is gonna be the Strixon here on this hole. We gotta get a winner here somehow. I hope one of these drivers emerges. Right now, they're so very close. That one off the toe, it started out a little right, but ended dead center. Club head speed 101, ball speed 145, smash 1.43, estimated carry 231, estimated carry and roll 256. If you watch the last one of these battles, my miss was off the toe a little bit too, and it's happening again today. I'm gonna try to hit one a little more central here. That's much better with better trajectory to match. Now, that may actually miss the fairway right, but it was a good drive. Club at speed 99, ball speed 146, smash 147, estimated carry 233, estimated carry and roll 259. We're switching to the Dyna Power now. Pretty well in the middle there. A little lower trajectory, it seemed like. This hole just slightly downhill, and that one took a nice hop forward. Club head speed 97, ball speed 142, smash 146, estimated carry 224, estimated carry and roll 249. Lower on the club face, maybe a little left of that first one. When I say low, I mean it wasn't super low, but it was a little low. Club head speed 97, ball speed 139, smash 1.43, estimated carry 216, estimated carry and roll 240. 
A thing to note here, the swing speed was down a little bit on that shot, 97 miles per hour. Let's go find them. Now, the reason I mention things like low on the face, off the toe, lower trajectory, higher trajectory, any of that stuff, that's so you know exactly how I'm gauging what's what here. In order to be unbiased, I've got to take all of this data into account. So it's not a personal bias going in and trying to make excuses for one of these drivers or the other. It's really for you to understand my thinking when we have to decide a winner. Because again, these two drivers, so, so very close. Guys, first ball here, more left than I would have guessed. I would have thought this was gonna be in the fairway, but it missed left by about four or five yards. That's 233. That there is a Wilson Staff Dynapower. Our better shots are up here and two real nice ones up there. All right, this is the Shrixon that felt really good coming off the club face. There's the dots on the ball there, guys. Two, seven, eight. We're just right of the fairway. Just off the fairway, about the same amount as the Wilson Dynapower, about four, maybe five yards. These two are the better balls. Now, one of these with the Wilson, I will say, seemed to be a little lower off the club face. With the Strixon, it was off the toe. Okay, this is the Strixon, matching dot there, 279. This is dead center. And over here, left center is actually the best drive. The best drive, and that is the Wilson. <laughs> 283, it's a great one. Honestly, very difficult. I think if you're a fan of American companies, you're gonna choose the Wilson Staff. I think if you're a fan of Japanese brands, you're gonna choose the Srixon. In terms of distance, from what I can see out here, as well as what I've seen in my simulator, they are basically exactly the same as well. We're talking splitting hairs, and I'm not a robot. I don't pretend to be. In fact, I'm a mere mortal. That's why you should be subscribed to this channel. If you're a mere mortal too, go ahead and hit subscribe. But what I also am is a person that seems to miss off the toe. That's my normal miss, okay? And with the Srixon a few times, on hole number two, I hit it off the toe. I thought it was gonna be left off the fairway by all rights it should have been. And in fact, it was on the left side of the fairway. It happened on this last hole where I hit it off the toe, it started out right, ended up dead center. Of all the shots, it was the most dead center. In terms of the Wilson staff with that deeper face, you just saw a shot where I hit one a little low and we got great results. In fact, it was the best drive of all four of them. <laughs> it's so tough. So if you're a toe striker, I think you're gonna appreciate this Srixon and that little extra added length on the face, I mean, and if you're a, again, a low hitter, you're gonna appreciate the Wilson staff in that deeper face. Guys, for me in my game, I'm a person that hits it off the toe more than I hit it low on the face. That's my normal miss, and that's actually what really hurt me lately with the Rogue ST. I was hitting them off the toe, and I was just getting these divey hooks that was killing me. It was putting me in terrible positions. For that reason, and that reason alone, I'm gonna have the Strixon VX5 Mark II move on here, guys. It could have gone either way. And if my game was a little different, if I was a person that missed it a little high or low on the face, the Wilson staff would be the club moving on. Either of these clubs are amazing, okay? And again, probably one of the better values you're gonna find out of the market. So it really comes down to personal brand preference here. And it comes down in my mind to the fact that I hit just a few more off the toe and I found just a couple more fairways here with the Strix on today, guys. But it could have gone either way. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. And as much as I enjoyed it, it was also just an incredibly gut-wrenching decision because it's so close. Guys, here's a playlist of all of the videos here in our March driver battle. Hope you'll come back and watch them all. But for now, the Strix on is moving on facing the TSR3, that's gonna be a good one. And then next week, we will have our final four. Guys, I'll catch you back in another edition of Let's Play Through.